Hi, my name is Kevin Nealon, and I feel, and I feel, okay, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> it's Kevin Nealon, right? Okay. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Kevin Nealon, and I feel duped about helping Conan O'Brien. Oh, sorry, I was trying you again. help me? How did you help me? It's with being Conan O'Brien's friend. It's subliminal. It's oh, subconscious. Yeah, okay. it subconscious. Is, you didn't, I didn't dupe subconscious. you. Subconscious. You are here to promote... I uh, wish I knew there was homework. I would have done this at home. All right, hang on a second. No, no, no. I, I want feel, all of this in, by the way. I want all of this in. I feel blank about being Conan O'Brien. I you, think what that's is the correct. right answer? What is the right answer? There is no right answer. Okay. They're just what you feel inside, but uh, you're an empty man. <laughs> You're an empty I medicine feel, cabinet. I feel. Hi, my name is Kevin Nealon, and I feel obligated about okay. being Conan O'Brien's friend. You know, I... I do feel that way. Do you I, really? I feel like you do have no friends. Uh, okay, well, first of all, that's a terrible thing to say. I know you'll take it back eventually. Is there any more print on here? Or just I'm going to take that piece of paper away from you. Listen to me. All right. Great. You, um, you often come to me and ask me for favors, and I always do them. I'm, uh, you know what, you're is right. That that is, is that true? Is that true? I Every time I ask you, oh, he's gonna draw the line here. He's he's not gonna do this. And yet, time and time again. I um, met you in uh, the woods to to shoot your Kevin Ewan Takes a Walk. Uh, it's, it's hiking with Kevin, thank oh, you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think because subliminally I wish you would take a walk. Um, to shoot this, your podcast, you had me meet you early in the morning. And you trudged me all around the place, and I thought I was a real good sport about it. Uh, you're taking a stop sipping. What are you sipping? Tell me something I don't know. Okay. Did you? You don't think I you knew use you weren't me. a good sport? You use me. You use me I all did the time. Use you. I and do. then you you act as if you, you're obligated to be here on the podcast today. I don't act like it. I am obligated. You, no, you're here to promote your book. I'm helping you get I the word. I brought the book because I thought you would have some nice reading material here <laughs> since it's so slow. <laughs> I don't I don't know that you're a good friend. I honestly don't. And I've known there's you for pictures a long time. in there too, if you don't feel like reading. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to get to the book because I have some problems with the book. Namely, uh, it's all these iconic people in television that you've worked with. And okay, now he's doing visual bits. Uh, let me just. It's not a visual bit at all. Yeah, you're having, no. you're drinking coffee with a it straw was... while you drink water out of a glass. If you replay this, you'll hear it's audible. Okay. I was slurping the saw, uh -huh. the straw. Um, all right, come on, let's get down to it here, man. You know, you. You think I could stay here all day? No, I don't think so. I don't think you should stay all right. here all so, day. So yeah, you went on the hike with me. I appreciate that. The show's like hiking with Kevin is premiering October twenty oh, seventh as the new season four. How did you think our episode went? I haven't edited it yet. Mm -hmm. But I'll fix it in post. <laughs> fix it? I thought it was fantastic. I was... Uh, you were good. You lagged behind a little bit, if I recall correctly. Well, you kept making me stop because you had a drone that you brought that you operated to get overhead <laughs> shots. You kept making me stop so that you could unfold and then apparently for the first time work this fucking drone to take overhead <laughs> shots of us taking a walk because everyone wants to see the top of our heads while we walk through a forest. And then you'd say, stop, stop. Turn around. Okay, come back this way now. Come back. Now look like you're looking to the right. Now look like you're looking to the left. Now come forward. And we were on a public path, and it's very clear that you're not allowed to have drones in this area. And old ladies were coming by on their morning hike. And you'd say, watch out, watch out, watch out. And they'd be like, oh, oh, what is it? Oh, is it a hawk? No, nope, no, nope, not a hawk. Keep moving through. Come on, let's go, ladies. It was the least pleasant hike I've ever taken. How dare you? How dare I? I went out of my way to have a hike with you because I felt bad for you. And obviously you had no exercise. No, no, the drone is really a great addition. That's like you having a mic for your show. I don't see I'm not what the drone I'm not added. finished with the, you know, with the okay. defense of the drone. Okay. Um, the drone is amazing. And it's amazing to to watch and editing. I'm serious about this because the guests are just standing around like, oh, they're checking their phone. Yes. Because you bully them. <laughs> but you take a look. You take a look. You see the increased value and um, attraction to the show from the drone. 
Okay, well, it stops. We got, every time we got a nice conversation going, you would say, hold it, stop. Unpack this metallic suitcase. Unwind and un, you know, fold what, this what, drone. What nice conversation are you talking about? We would have, we had some nice chats going on, I thought. I thought we had a nice comedic role going and you kept stopping it. I think when I, when we said goodbye to each other, that was a nice conversation. You said, thanks, this'll do. Turned on your heels. I said, thanks, this'll barely do. This'll barely do, that's right. And then I think you went and had coffee with the drone. I think you, you, you know where that interested. drone is? You know where that drone is right now? Where? It's in some dumpster because I crashed it. Oh. I crashed it into a tree and it, it was like a high tree and it was falling, hitting branch <laughs> by branch. And I'm thinking to myself as it's falling, okay, it might, it might be okay. It might be okay. And there's one rock under that tree, one big rock and it hit that rock uh -huh. and it just scattered everywhere. Yeah. Well, we should, um, <laughs> this is all hiking with Kevin. Hiking with Kevin's a terrific show. No, it's a... It it's is. a great show. It's a great show. Um, <laughs> and you know, I, it's, I get different um, guests like yourself. And I think when you're hiking outside, people let their guard down. Mm -hmm. they, not you though, but most people let their guard down and they're well, very, um, you know, forthcoming. Yeah. I had trouble putting my guard down because I kept dodging the drone <laughs> as it got very close to my face. Do you want to hear a true story? I was hiking. Uh, finally. With, yeah, wanna, sure. Okay, forget it. No, no, let's let's go. Let's hear a no, true story. I was hiking with Kim Basinger, mm -hmm. and I were. almost flew the drone into her face. Oh, oh God! Can you imagine if I had done that? Um, how fast I would have been running out of there? Well, that's the other thing. I think your instinct shouldn't have been to run. It would be to help Kim in that moment and give her. I call her Kim because we're close. Yeah. Um, and uh, name a star I'm not close with. How many people do you know? Have you ever counted? Very few. No, you've been everywhere. I've been everywhere and I've met everyone. And you, and you, but not, do I, who do I know? Who do I really know? I mean, I've met a lot of people, but you're not that friendly. Uh, <laughs> are you? Look at me. I think look I am me. looking at you. I think <laughs> For I, for one minute, look at me. I think I am a friendly fellow. I really do. Sona, jump in. Do you think I'm a friendly fellow? I want to take Kevin's side. Okay. On that. You know what we're going to do? First of all, you're not a fellow. We're yeah. going to, um, we're going to just pretend I didn't throw it to Sona. Okay. Or is there a way we can edit in a, you sure are, no. boss? How no. Did, why did you think that would turn out differently? I don't know. I think I am a friendly chaparoo. Okay. I really do. Do you All think right. you're a good listener? I didn't hear a word. <laughs> I... <laughs> Tintinitis. It's the strawbits. The, the, the strawbits are fantastic. <laughs> do you have a good memory? Uh, I think I do. Sure. All right. And you're a good listener? I'm a good listener. I'm going to give you a date. Okay. October 27th. Mm-hmm. Yep. 2022. Yep. What's happening on that date? That is the date that you are doing something to help you. I think I guess <laughs> it's the no, date. No, no. Not just me, but other people as well. And I'll explain. Okay, go ahead. No, well, what's the date first? Well, what's, I think what's we both know that it's a day where Kevin Nealon is going to do a lot to get his own name out there under the guise of helping others. What is it you're doing? What is that? What I don't that? know, honestly. Oh my God. So you know, right? No. It's a benefit. It's Hiking with Kevin. It's oh. premiering the fourth <laughs> season. Oh yeah, that's... Why I, do I even bother coming here if you're not listening? Can I say that again and we can drop that in? No, okay, we can't. Because I want to make sure you Kevin just, looks good. Uh, no. And yes, I do hike with people that are very nice to do it and they don't complain or make me feel guilty. And it's, it's helping them too because it's exercise. And I've, I've started so many people on hiking you know, people start I, hiking. I canceled my trainer to go hike with you and then I'm standing in a forest while you assembled and disassembled the drone. <laughs> I didn't realize so that. I got less exercise with you than I would have had I blown off the Hiking with Kevin show. And now listen, people listening right now are thinking these two don't like each other. And I want to make it very clear. Oh my God, not, not in the least sense. I want to make it very clear. I Look at me. I love you. I love you. You're, Conan, I love you more. If you should die today or even tomorrow <laughs> i would wait is it today would, or tomorrow i'd like to know hopefully today. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding i love you and i would really i'm a little concerned about you because i mean i'm not kidding around i, I said who was i talking to the other day do you remember <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't I, I was thinking that conan man he just doesn't stop what is he running from 
Oh. Or what is he running to? What is he running to? Yeah. What is it that you're trying to do? What are you trying to, what kind of void are you trying to fill? Uh, this is it. Look at me. Incredible. Look I'm, looking, at me. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I think that's uh, an incredibly deep question. Uh, I think it's a fair question. I think like a lot of us, I have things to work out. Uh, you yourself famously don't connect. <laughs> you, you often don't look at me over the years. Uh, you are a guy that internalizes a lot. How can I look at you when I read about you all the time and I see you everywhere, posters, billboards, you know, stickers, Banksy pictures of you <laughs> on the side of like, you know, broken down buildings. Well, first of all, they put them on broken down buildings because they erase them if you put them on like a city bank. Yes, I suppose I've become somewhat of an iconic figure. I accept you that. Actually, you are iconic. I don't. You know, when you die, which may be soon. Um, <laughs> it's either they, today or tomorrow. I swear, Banksy's going to do pictures of you everywhere. Yeah, I hope so. And um, I hope so. And you're going to be a legend one day. Mm -hmm. Not now. Some people say that I'm a legend right now, mm -hmm. but don't you have to be dead to be a legend? I, I can be so. legendary right now. I think you can be legendary while you're still alive. Yeah, legendary, but a legend, you think? Sure, yeah. And well, how so? Well, oh God, he's taking another sip. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a visual, this is an audio medium and you're doing visual shtick left I'm not, and right. I'm not looking for laughs. I'm just behaving as, as I would. You know. In front of an iconic legend. I, um, I give you every opportunity. I try and connect with you. I'll tell you one thing you do that I do find very revealing. You tend, to, I get texts from you because you live around the corner from me and the texts say, I'm hiking past your house right now. Do you want to join me? But I don't get the texts in real time and you give me no notice. So you refuse to make a plan to take a non-filmed hike with me. You'll take a hike and then you'll text me as you're walking past my house. It's not filmed, but I do have the drone with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I'm curious about that. I think it's because you don't really want to take a walk with me. You want to look like you're making the effort, but you text as you're passing. I don't think you can make a plan to be social. First of all, you say I'm hiking past your house. You make it sound like we're in the woods and you live in a cottage, mm -hmm. you know, up in some trail. Okay. But no, I'm just walking by your house. Was that gas you just had right now? No, what happened? No. <laughs> What's happening right now? That was, I had gastric bypass oh, this morning. This morning. <laughs> yeah, on the way over. you still over. kept this appointment to be here. Do you know I was 350 pounds when I left my house today? I know that they took the walls down to get you out. <laughs> they ha hey, what about those people that are, those plus sizes that can't get out of bed? Yeah. Stuff. That's rough. Do they build the house around them? Is that how they get in there? No, I think the idea is that they gain the weight while they were in the house. Oh, I see. Yeah. I don't think a contractor comes in and builds the house around them. You don't think they came into the garage? Um, <laughs> Look at me. You know, I... <laughs> Seriously. Tell me you... about yourself. Uh, <laughs> my name's Conan O'Brien. Uh, I first met you. Of course, oh, yeah. Saturday Night Live. Yeah. You were very nice to me. Uh, I famously told Lauren you were my favorite cast member. I uh, never knew that. Yeah, you did. I told you that. And he frowned. A famous cast member. My, uh, in my what favorite, way? You were my favorite cast member. <laughs> cast member or stand-up? No, you were you're my favorite oh. cast member on SNL. I told Lauren that. He said, which, and which is your favorite? And I said, I, I think I like Kevin the best because he's, he's very... Take it easy. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even let me compliment you. I said a lot of nice I things feel uncomfortable. about you. I feel uncomfortable when someone's talking to me. Nicely about me. Okay. Why well, is let's that? go back why to the other that, way. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because deep down, you know, you're not worthy of it. Uh, wow, that is so true. Yeah. You that know so that true. you're just a bully. But when I came here, I thought... When I came, An interrupter. When I came to your show, <laughs> I thought to myself, this is a show I am worthy for. Yeah. Even though everything else, I'm unworthy. <laughs> but, um, you finally found a bar low enough. Good for you.